Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Um, it's been a while since we did a pick a video and um, we've definitely copped a lot of things in the past couple of months so we decided to share a little pickup haul with you guys especially with the holidays passing and stuff and yeah let's get right into it okay so i realized that i got a bunch of hats <laughs> this one is from arvin arvin got it for me for christmas um it's a, from a brand called i don't want to butcher the name you know what mm -hmm. it? And? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll put the their Instagram or something. Here. It's really really pretty. It's a silk material, all white. It has like this quilted look to it. I obviously put it on where it's kind of like a hood vibe. Um, yeah, it makes me feel like a little baby. I don't know. I really like it. The next hat that I've gotten, there's this one that I just like thrifted. Another hat. I'm like obsessed with hats that have like the ear flaps I've gotten like so many of them recently but also because it's so cold and it's just perfect because my ears get really cold um, this is another hat that I actually got in Paris um, from um, some random vintage store there were a lot of different variations of this hat it's actually in our previous Paris vlog video where Arvin tries on like a black version but yeah, I really like this one because it's I find it different with the long fur strap thingies on the side. Um, yeah, and it's actually really, really warm, which is a plus, especially in the Montreal winter weather. Let me go see if I could find the other hat. One second. Um, so I found it. It's this one that's also just thrifted um, from Renaissance in Montreal. Uh, <laughs> another like ear flap moment I don't know I really like it I find it fun and it keeps me warm and I think especially in the cold I need to buy more hats to like match with my outfits I find I really do love accessories um, I find it's like one of the best ways to like um, play around with your outfit and style it in different ways when you have all sorts of accessories so yeah Okay, so for my hat pickups or accessory pickups, I guess, start off with hats as well. First one is the one I'm wearing currently. Um, I'm sure you guys seen this on our pair's vlog, as well as on Instagram. Um, this is a Julius hat that I got from Essence. Uh, the one I was wearing in pairs was actually Greg's that I was borrowing. I've had it in my wishes for a long time, but I just wasn't sure if I wanted to like pull the trigger. And then Greg already had it, so I tried it on, and honestly, the moment I put it on, I was like, this is a cop. And it's a hat that I'd actually wear, especially in the summer as well. So definitely a good cop. Um, oops. Second one, um, going with the ear flap theme, I guess. This is a Hyun Xiao, hopefully I didn't butcher the name, um, beanie that uh, got from Essence as well. It's a Korean brand. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys know this brand, but yeah, the ear flaps are pretty cute it's I've been wearing it a lot yeah <laughs> Che's been wearing it honestly more than I have but essentially this is what it looks like I honestly don't get too much wear out of it it's hard for me to like deviate from you know the the Mac is beanie that I always wear but I'm trying to like venture out of that and like have some variation in my life <laughs> so this is this and then the last beanie that I copped was this I think also Julius beanie I don't remember what year it's from. It's probably like from 03 or 04, but it has this military zip. I don't know if the camera's gonna catch on to that. Loose fitting, um, mainly just like, I don't know, something to wear that covers my ears, especially. You know, on walks, walking OG and stuff. I honestly haven't gotten anywhere out of this yet, but hopefully soon. And then lastly, with accessories, oops, is this like full zip long glove that Che got me for part of my Christmas present. It's a brand called System, which is also a Korean brand that we stock on Essence. And funny enough, my client actually bought these gloves, which I saw and I was like, ooh, these gloves look kind of sick. So yeah, I haven't gone to wear them yet. They're like lamb leather, which is nice. And for like lamb leather, it's a really good price. So. 
definitely a good cop. Oh, also, I guess last accessory, I got this ring that I talked about in the vlog briefly from L'Obscure Paris, which is like a secondhand uh, avant-garde store. They sell like sec like vintage sterling silver rings and the prices are pretty good on them and yeah, I decided to pick this up. Uh, and that's everything for accessories. Okay, so for footwear, I got these Marty boots. They're from the kids section at Essence. Um, I really love them. They're super warm, super comfy, and I could honestly wear with a lot of things. Um, they did come in the black, the pink, and the white. They sold out really, really fast. I wish I got them in all three colorways. Um, I think there's one pink one left in a really small kid size, but unfortunately, I only was able to get the white ones. Um, clearly, I wear them a lot because they're so dirty, but I think, honestly, the best purchases are when you can wear it a lot and there's no point in buying into something when it's just going to chill in your closet. Um, and the price is really, really good. So yeah, amazing purchase. Love these. And for my other shoes, I got these boots from a brand called Atelier in Skrr. I'm probably messing that up again. But um, they are a brand that constantly provides shoes for or footwear for Yoji Yamamoto runways. They are handmade. They have these little pearls in the front. I wanted them as soon as I like discovered the brand. But I wasn't really necessarily sure how to purchase it at first because they are kind of low-key on their Instagram and on their website. But it turned out like once I was talking about them on my Instagram and they DM'd me uh, and sent me their kind of lookbook and then we went from there. But yeah, the details are amazing, the pearls. They actually sent me matching pearl earrings to go with the boots, which was a nice little surprise when it arrived. Um, they look like this. Yeah, it's a stunning brand. I will definitely wear it more often. It's just right now, because of the snow and everything, I wore them in Paris, but that's the only time I've worn them so far because there's no snow there. Um, but as soon as it gets a little bit warmer, I will definitely wear them more. And then for my footwear, I have one pair that I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen. It's crazy. They're called the Kama Shoes by Aaron Esch, which is a UK brand, um, up and coming CSM grad. Honestly, super unique. The moment I saw them on Instagram, I just knew I needed them. And then the great thing was that Essence was actually um, selling them. So, you know, I had to buy them. Obviously, just the shape on its own is amazing. I feel like I don't have a lot of derbies um, and I'm mainly wearing like boots and stuff even in the summer. So these would definitely come clutch um, during the summer and like just to change up the silhouette of my outfits and stuff, wearing like more crop pants to go with it and stuff. Um, definitely something fun to play around with. I mean, you guys know I love like weird and odd shapes when it comes to clothing, so these definitely fit in my wardrobe really well and super unique. And yeah, I haven't been like so excited to buy something in a while. And then when I saw these, I was like, I need these, so amazing. Yep. And that's like all the footwear I've got. So let's get into the clothing. So for clothing, I just have this one piece um, that Arvin actually bought me for Christmas. This is Burberry like poncho, cape vibe. Uh, looks like this, with a little hood. <laughs> um, I've really been wanting like a cape-ish like, I don't really know how to explain it, but basically like this. I've been wanting one for a while now, and then Arvin kind of picked up on it, and <laughs> he bought it for me for Christmas. Uh, I think it's really interesting. I love the hood on it. It makes me feel like, I don't know, when I think of like these, like cape, I know it's a poncho, but it, I keep thinking it's a cape because I just am envisioning those like girls back in the day in horses, riding around, and the capes like flying in the air. That's the vibe I'm like going for in my head. It's like some Attack on Titan vibe. Basically. And yeah, there's a lot of buttons that go through down here. 
I like the detailing on it. It's also really warm because um, it's knit. But yeah, that's kind of my only pickup that I've had recently in terms of clothing. I haven't really been shopping a lot. For myself, I shopped a shit ton for everyone else during Christmas. So, yeah. And then for my clothing, um, I'm gonna start off with this knit right here, oops. It's uh, by a brand called iRay. Um, in our Paris vlog, you saw that we went to their sh the presentation slash show or whatever. Um, super comfortable, super soft wool knit. Is it wool? I'm pretty sure it's wool. Merino wool. Um, I love like how loosely knitted it is. You can almost like, it's like kind of see-through, but not really. Um, as well as like the crop fit that, you know, it's just something different. Che always says I look good in crop stuff even though I don't own any crop stuff. So this is kind of like a nice addition. And Che did get me this for my, uh, for Christmas for me. Um, also like the sleeves are super wide and elongated, which I like. It kind of like plays with that shape um, that like, I don't know. I'm a huge fan of when it comes to knit. And like, honestly, I realize I don't have a lot of knitwear, which I think I said in a, video a couple, I don't know, months ago that I would like to purchase more knitwear. It's just hard to find like ones where I'm actually like really in love with and want to pull the trigger. But this one is definitely like a good addition. It's super comfy, super, um, the shape is super nice, especially as I mentioned before the crop. And when I, when we play the B-roll, I'm sure you'll be able to see like the back has this like nice shape to it, the way it drapes, which is really cool. Super in love with this piece. And then next off, I got the CDG shorts uh, right here. Not sure if you guys can see it, which has these like cool detailings on the side. This like little pocket on each side that kind of drapes down at the bottom. I believe these are from fall winter 2005. And they're a size extra small, sorry. <laughs> There's a size extra small, but you know, your boy's skinny now and the waistband definitely helps. So yeah, I, I got them at uh, Gaijin, which is a secondhand store in Paris. If you guys are in Paris and like love like Japanese brands and stuff, they have a lot of stuff like that. Super cool people as well. They also gave us like some nice pins and stuff, mm -hmm. which was super nice. Had great conversation with them. Yeah, honestly, love these shorts. Can't wait to wear them in the summer. As you guys know, it's hard to find like interesting things to wear in the summer. And like, it's hard to incorporate shorts. I feel like, at least for me, I hate, I usually don't really wear shorts and it's always trousers, but this will definitely be a nice way to like elevate my outfits in the summer. So can't wait to wear that. <clears throat> and then lastly, I got these uh, black Comme des Garçons trousers at the CDG store in Paris as well. Uh, shout out to the D wait not DSM. Shout out to the CDG employee that helped us out because we were actually trying on other stuff out and then we were planning on leaving and she actually recommended these pants to me which was like super I mean she she was a good stylist. Like she just knew that like you know I'd be I'd wanna cop these pants essentially and yeah. I really like um, the crop on the pants. I feel like the past few years, I haven't really bought any like cropped pants and mainly all of my pants are like super oversized and you know, it just drapes over my boots and stuff. But the, the crop on these are amazing, especially with the button details at the end. You can kind of play around with it by like unbuttoning the bottom to maybe give it a flared shape or buttoning it up so it has that like cinched look. And then what I really like is also that the top part, you'll see when I try it on, that it has this like balloon look on the top and then it kind of cinches into the crop cinch button look, which is like a unique and fun shape that I really enjoyed. It's subtle, but especially if you don't wear anything that like drapes over on top, you could really see the shape and I really, I don't know, I'm a huge fan of it. And drawstrings are always clutch because you know, it's more comfy even though it still looks like comfy dress pants. So yeah, that's these pants. And then lastly, actually, are these pants that I'm wearing. You guys won't be able to see, but 
<coughs> we'll do some b-roll and he'll see it. These are uh, Dries, Dries Van Own pants. Uh, they're honestly just sweatpants, but the shape on these are amazing. Super wide, super long, hard to walk in, but looks amazing. And they're kind of like my new like go-to airport pants because you get to look good and they're sweatpants. So you're, you're comfy the whole way ride, the uh, whole way through. I'm like a huge advocate of finding drawstring pants that look like more dressy so that you know you can still look have a like put together outfit while looking cozy and stuff and yeah i think that's all the pickups we have thanks for watching the video guys i hope you enjoyed it um like comment subscribe we will hopefully see you soon but no promises don't say that Bye! <laughs>